yeah, it's pretty sick. You can also see here, this is some few, like a few more levels up. I engaged a battle here, we were three against five. Hello there guys and welcome to this video. So I have a new series of things that I want to try, a new video series basically. And uh, I'm, I think I'm gonna call this like, uh, before you buy or something, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I want to show you guys new heroes so you know what they can do and like how they behave before you actually have to buy them. So like you know what you're getting yourself into. But yeah, if you like this sort of thing, or if you like the video, please give it a big thumbs up so I know that I should continue making these. Um, yeah, I mean, I just wanted to try something new and hopefully you'll like it. But anyways, we're gonna cover Argus, the newest hero in Mobile Legends. Also called Spirit of the Night or whatever his name is, he has like three names. But anyways, he's the newest hero and we're gonna go through his abilities, attributes and everything, guys. So yeah, here we have his... Passive ability, Warmonger, taking or dealing damage will charge the demonic blades. They will charge faster depending on how low your HP is. And when fully charged, your next basic attack will be two quick basic attacks, which will deal more damage depending on how low his health is. We then have his first ability, which is called Demonic Grip, and it sends a hand at a targeted direction, dealing 175 points of damage towards the target that is hit. You will also be able to use a second ability which deals 125 points of physical damage if you hit him. If no target is there, you will just get pulled to the direction. This is his second ability, Meteoric Sword. After a short period of charging, Argus will strike an enemy with the Demonic Blade dealing 400 points of physical damage and uh, also causing a bleeding effect for 5 seconds. Under the bleed effect, will leave a trail of, it will leave a blood trail which you can follow to increase your movement speed. This is his ult though, this is the main thing of Argus. He becomes invincible for 5 seconds and will receive 20% of damage taking to his health when his ult is over and it's just, it's just insane. These are his attributes, I'm gonna compare them to some of the most popular fighters so we can see here. We have Argus on the top left, we have Sho on the top right, we have Yon Sao on the bottom left, and we have Alucard on the bottom right. And as you can see here guys, Argus has the highest physical attack by one point, he has the second highest attack speed, which is pretty good, he has the highest HP regen, and that's basically it. He has the second lowest HP, and his movement speed is basically the same as everyone else, except for Yon Sao, since he has higher movement speed, but yeah. Also, one thing to keep in mind, he doesn't have any mana at all. It's only the demonic sword bar thing. So, yeah, he's pretty goddamn OP, guys. And there's some things you need to think about before you buy Argus. So, first off, guys, in low levels, you can't really take on everyone. You will see here, I, uh, I got attacked by three enemies. I used my ult, which made me regain HP, and I can hold out for very long. I can deal a lot of damage, as you see. But it's really good to do this early game because you can, like, you can stall them so your enemy team gets there and can take them out. So you can see there we only got one kill, unfortunately, but we could have gotten more kills if more people would come and help. And I still dealt quite a lot of damage. He's, he's just very, very OP currently. He will probably get a nerf pretty soon, but this is the current case of Argus. And, uh, yeah. As you want to unlock your ult as fast as possible, guys. Because with your ult, you're invincible for... The first tier is 5 seconds, I think. The second tier is like 6 seconds. And the third tier is 7 seconds. So, I mean... Yeah, it's pretty sick. You can also see here, this is some few... Like, a few more levels up. I engaged a battle here. We were 3 against 5. And, uh... I mean, we totally wiped their team. I would have gotten a quarter kill if... Al Hayabusa didn't steal the quarter, there's a rip the quarter dream. But yeah, you can see he's really OP in team fights. Really, really amazing team fighter. You can also see here, you can turret dive with him, no problems. I get pulled into the turret, use my ult, no problems at all. I get, it was a mistake by them to pull me in there. But for some reason I died here, I don't really know what happened there. Uh, I think there's some kind of bug on the advanced server or something, but... Yeah, I mean, what, what are you gonna do, guys? So... Yeah, if you're up against an enemy Argus in your team with Argus, there's a few things to keep in mind. You know how Argus can be invincible? Well, you see here, the enemy Argus used his ult there, which made me know that, okay, he's invincible now for 5 to 7 seconds. 
which gave me enough time to stall and just engage them. And we were two against three here. Totally wrecked them, as usual, with Argus. He's just so freaking insane. You can see easy double kill there. Very, very easy double kill. But yeah, that's one thing to keep in mind if you have an enemy Argus on, on the battlefield. You have to watch out for his ult. You have to know when he's using his ult, how, like, when he can use it again, basically. So you know when to engage, basically, because it's rather useless if you engage an enemy team fight with Arg when they have Argus and uh, you use your ult, you go back and he uses his ult because then he will take you down really, really simple. And uh, there's also a few other st things to keep in mind. A marksman can be rather annoying against Argus because even though you have your ult, he can just not attack and like kite you around and basically attack you from a distance, which means you can't really do anything against him. So you have to be proficient with using your first ability so you can get close to him and deal as much damage as possible, guys. So marksmen are kind of a counter, as well as people who can stun you or silence you, because if you cannot initiate your ult, you're dead. Okay. But anyways, this is the build that I'm currently using. First off, I just call it Phantom for some attack speed and some physical attack and some critical strike chance. It, it really helps with jungling in the beginning, at least according to me, and it's really good for all, all of the crit strikes that you will be dealing, and also for sharpening up your um, demonic blade. Second off, I have Hunter Strike for some, uh, or well, a lot of physical attack, some cooldown reduction and some movement speed increase. I have Demon Hunter's Sword for physical attack, attack speed, and for um, the passives. I have Burst Circus Fury for all of the crit. You want to have as much crit as possible so you can deal as much damage as possible. I have Malefic Fury. M Malefic Roar, I mean. Oh my god, I can't even speak. Just for the armor penetration and the attack. And Swift Boots for the movement speed and the attack speed. Because you want to be able to deal as much damage as possible in a, in a short amount of time. And since you have your ult, if you can deal as much damage as possible in team fights, you can basically take out all of the enemies no problems at all. So, um, yeah guys, this is just a small first look of Argus before you need to buy him. So, yeah, you basically know how Argus works now. You have your first ability, which you can pull yourself closer with, you can hook with it. It's, it's a really nice ability. You have your second ability, which deals a lot of damage for a single ability. And you have the ult, which it makes you invulnerable for five to seven seconds, guys, and uh, it has like a 55 second cooldown in the start, but if you get a lot of cooldown items, or at least one cooldown, I cooldown item, you will get past the cooldown rather quickly, and you don't even need the red buff on this guy, okay? You will deal so much damage, since they will just attack you and focus you, you will regain HP so freaking fast, that like, you don't even need lifesteal on this guy, okay guys? You, you may need to have to do some recalls every once in a while, but yeah. Anyways, that's it for the video. Hope you... I, re I really, really hope you guys like this. If you want more content like this in the future, give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below on what you think of this. And also, if you have a better build for Argus, I would really like to know. So leave that in the comments as well. And, uh... Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really, really hope you liked it. And as always, guys, I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.